We're here with College Baseball Daily and Lauren Hibbs, the head coach of the Charlotte 49ers. Charlotte came into the 2012 season with pretty big expectations, but there's been a lot of tough situations for your team, and your guys have really had a battle this year. Yeah, it's it's uh, been a trying year, to be honest with you, at this point. We played a really good non-conference schedule, uh, had some injuries that we've dealt with that have been kind of unusual for us. Uh, and had to play a lot of young guys that, that, to be honest, we aren't really quite ready to play yet. Uh, I think it bodes well for the future for us because we've got uh, four freshmen that we started last night down here the first game against Tech, and, and those guys are getting a lot of experience here at a very young age. So uh, we've got to do a better job of coaching. We've got to do a better job of recruiting. We've got to do a better job of, of developing the guys we have in our program uh, You know, as we make the transition from, from the Atlantic 10 uh, into Conference USA. Who are some of those young guys that have had to step their game up for you this season? Uh, you know, Pat Rayleigh's catching for us almost every day now, a freshman. Uh, Derek Galello's playing second base for us pretty much every day and has for most of the year due to some injuries. Uh, Brad Elwood's another guy that, that uh, played pretty well for us early in the year, then broke his hand and missed about six weeks, and now he's back in the everyday lineup again. Uh, Leland Clemens is a, is a young guy that really struggled early in the season uh, and, and has, has come on here of late. Got a couple other young guys that, that had some injury issues early that were going to redshirt. Uh, and again, when you start talking about having guys in the middle of the field and, and three of your four guys from catcher, you know, short, second, and center field or, or, or freshmen and young guys, uh, that's a little unusual for us. Uh, we've got to do a, again, got to do a better job from a pitching standpoint. Got to do a better job from a, from a defense standpoint because those are kind of the, the hallmarks of our program. And we're, we're making improvement. Uh, slowly but surely, and again, the experience that our younger guys have gotten this year, I think, is going to help us, along with the recruiting class we got coming in for, for next fall. Who are some veterans that have performed well offensively for you this year? Yeah, Shane Brown's been outstanding. You know, a guy that's, that's, that's uh, you know, got close to 30 stolen bases. Another guy that's battled a hamstring injury most of the year. Uh, Shane Bays in our third baseman, has been, been a very good player the last month or so for us. Uh, got an issue with his back early in the year, a stress fracture in his back that we've been able to monitor and, and decreased his workload a little bit, and he's played through it. Both those guys have played through some difficult uh, situations and really performed well for us. So, And Justin Rowland's really come on here of late offensively, really been swinging the bat well. So we've got a pretty good pretty good group of guys uh, that he continues to battle. Um, and again, the expectations are always high in our program. That's good. That's the way we want it. And it's been... Uh, to this point, a little bit of a trying year, but we keep to grind and really continue to grind through things. Talk about Shane Brown. How important of a player is he yeah. to your lineup? He's a really good player. You know, as a kid that came to our program as a walk-on from, from right there at North Mecklenburg High School in Charlotte, can really run, uh, really has worked on developing his body where he's gotten stronger over the five years he's been with us uh, after his redshirt years as a freshman. Uh, and as a guy that can change the game. You know, he's, he's a guy that's really played well against the, the upper echelon competition that we've played this year and, and a guy that we need to have in the lineup. Talk about your pitching, a mix of older guys and younger guys that you've used this year. You know, Smith and Urimel have kind of led us on the front end on Friday and Saturday. You know, Smith was an All-American last year and had a little bit of a struggle off and on this year. urimel has been really good for us. He's a midweek guy early in the season, and then due to a couple injuries on our pitching staff, he's moved into that Saturday role and pitched extremely well. Um, again, it's just a matter for us. We don't have a whole lot of overpowering guys. we got to have a lot of guys doing the right things on the mound and, and uh, do things in a positive way to be able to throw ground balls. we got to play good defense behind them. At times we struggle playing defense, you know, whether it be in stretches of games or, or you know, an inning or two here or there in, in game situations. So, uh, you know, with Smith and Yermel, those are two guys we have confidence in. Uh, Yermel's going to throw the first game today, and then Tyler Barnett on the back end on Sunday. You know, he's only thrown about 30 innings for us. He's had a reoccurring blister problem with his finger that we're if now we think, feel like we've got it under control, which has kind of been a weird deal. I've never seen anything quite like it in 30 years of coaching. But uh, uh, Brandon Hall, our pitching coach, does a great job with our guys. We've got a good plan. Uh, and, and we've, got some guys we feel like, again, young guys that have kind of been forced into action. We feel like got a chance to be able to develop as time goes on. You mentioned the move to Conference USA in a couple of years. How exciting is the future uh, for Charlotte baseball? Fantastic. You know, I've been here in Charlotte long enough to see the Metro. When I first got to Charlotte 20 years ago, and then the transition from the Metro into Conference USA, and then Conference A into the A-10, and the A-10 now back to Conference USA. I've stayed in touch with a lot of those guys that are head coaches in the league. Uh, and to a man, I think that they're, they're going to welcome uh, us back with open arms. Uh, you know, we've got to take care of business the last couple weekends in the A-10 for this year. 
we got to take care of business next year in the A-10 because the league has gotten better. Uh, that's been a positive. Uh, but we're really, really excited about that transition to Conference USA and the level of competition every single weekend that we're going to see uh, from those teams in that league. Thank you, Coach, and good luck the rest of the season. Right, good talking to you. Thank you.